and welcome back to the next episode. This episode will be aired the same day because, you know, cutscenes. So in this episode we have to catch six monkeys. I had the original 14 and I won't be getting any Spectre Coins because I actually forgot yeah, because I'm pretty sure I'm at least going to forget where one is. So yes, here we go. You see the beautiful landscape of the Cenozoic Era. And there's our first monkey to the protocol. So let's just head to there and watch out for those annoying bees. They really screw you over later on. I mean, really. They can really screw you on now as well. Those things, if you hit them while their mouth is open, that's fine. Just don't go into them. And if you go into them, roll like mad. Um, the monkey's around here somewhere, so just make sure you hit the bee and just catch it. There's another monkey around here as well. I didn't use. Here we have another regular monkey. His name is Spy, and he hides well because spies need to hide as part of espionage and certain things like that. As a, apart from that, he's really not noticeable, he's just a general bad monkey. Yeah, another one of those, eh? I just know this, but I, may, I do know now, you see that's how you kill them. And there we go. They have got difficult pants on, which means that, sorry, shorts, not pants. Um, and they hurt you. They tend to freak out a lot more, and they're faster runners. There we go. Strangely enough, the first monkey that damaged me has its gentle nature. You can tell that by his light blue pants, which means that it's got gentle nature. His name, Clumsy, is what Homer Simpson is in The Simpsons, and Doe is a direct reference to that. He goes, Doe, whenever he gets something wrong. If you haven't seen that, then you really need to watch some TV once. Apart from that, the show's kind of dead now as well. This one is best to crawl up using R3, but you can jump up here, and all you most of the time you only sacrifice a single life. Once again, two possible meanings for this guy. Um, you need your eyeballs to be alert, and when you say eyeball, it's pronounced eyeball like your eyes. Also, it's from a Commodore 64 game, which goes by that title, apparently. Here you'll see he's wearing shades and got a gun. This represents he's a hard hitter. As you see here, he's the first monkey we've ever met which has attack. So yeah, you need to be alert to deal with these guys, and good with your net and stone club. It's pretty much worth it anyway. Um, now let's go over here, because that way leads you to nowhere, I seem to remember. Unless my mind is really, really warped on this place, but I'm pretty sure that's the one with the um, spaceship and this isn't. Let's have a look. Oh no, this is the place with the spaceship. Okay, got confused. Yes, I should have played this game before again. <laughs> oh well. So yes. I do enjoy the cookie system. Um, most games, you know, the cookies um, in Apescape 2 and 3, the cookie cookie system is different. Um, which I do enjoy Apescape 3, actually. Apescape 2 is a bit of a meh game. Um, it's the worst in the series. This is, I mean, this proper series. I guess I like this because it's the only decent. Uh, Apescape 3 is the only decent platform I've played in a while. There aren't many. You know, if you know any good platforms, please suggest them. I'm out of platforms at the moment. I mean, like Chris, platforms like Crash, Crash Bandicoot and stuff. Anyway. That's going to electrocute you, so you need to get out of the water. The way to get across that is you swim across really fast or use this. The reason that this works is your analog sticks each control one of the paddles. So you've got to move them exactly at the same time to get to move forward or backwards in exactly the same way. You've got to maneuver them. And it, as you can see, it's extremely hard to use. I mean, extremely hard. It's just, there's no end to how stupid it is. So I'm just, I just screw that because there's no way I'm going to sit there and waste even more time. Many of you may think, oh, you can't do this one yet. Well, you'd be wrong. More wrong than Miley Cyrus when she, when her dad, sorry, more wrong than Miley Cyrus' her dad when she's dead. A fairly easy one now, self-explanatory. Someone who never works is referred to as a slacker. So you're all slackers for watching this video. Haha. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I think you're good at that, darling. You should start singing more often. Of course, that was that was more the turning point of the entire Disney Corporation and, you know, general people's sanity. But never mind, we can deal with that. So yes, um, there's cookies over here, so you can replenish your health despite what you lost. Um, of course, I will go... I, I'm trying not to get any Spectre Coins. So I can go back through and show you where the location of the Spectre Coins are. Of course, if I get them, I'll just stick them together anyway in the final thing. You won't believe how much space um, this game actually had on my on my computer. It had about... Sorry, sorry not this game, then the Kingdom Hearts will do that. It had about, I don't know, 300 odd gigabytes of size. And for some reason... Oh, sorry, my controls just gone dead. Ooh. Oh, there we go, sorry. Control this one, fucked. Anyway, this guy's this guy I'd have been hitting. Because he's remembered that the pants are too difficult. The short clothes change, they pull the pants off. Here we have Kipper, a 
basic monkey as well. He's very gentle because of the blue, sh because of the light blue shorts. Um, if someone's said to kip, they're said to be sleeping. So if someone's said to be a kipper, they, they obviously prefer sleeping. Do I get an American lingo when you hear it too much as well? Just happens when you hear American too much. But yeah, there is a spectre coin to the right, to the left. Sorry, there as you can see. Um, but I'm not getting that. I will get all the spectre coins in the next in the in the run through when I come back to all these levels. Um, there aren't, there isn't much point in this. That there's only one thing which will hurt you there, but you may as well practice your um, your, your um, marine maneuver uh, maneuverability because you'll need it in some later stages. Mainly the ones with sharks in it. I kid you not, there are sharks. So we all gonna have fun. Um, yeah, this is probably all that's gonna be in this. This is all, all I'm gonna do is this this um ep this level in this episode. There are two or three monkeys up there. They've all got laser guns. So if you're not keen on laser gun monkey, then that's fine. There's a monkey here. He throws rocks at you. Um, you can simply come back here another time because there's an entrance there. So I'm going to go take out the like mini boss of the area. Hit the cookie jar. There's always three cookies that get released. You'll always have enough. Here he goes. Now what you have to do is hit each of the branches. Branch one. Uh, sorry, not branches. Um, the foliage. And then just keep passing the hacking away like that, or not like that. You better be swirled it round to be honest. And hit again, and swirl, and just beat this tree seven shades of red. And then you should be able to knock him over and swirl your stick around. For this monkey, I'm just going to read directly what Christopher Hyde wrote. I don't know about anywhere else, but here in good old England, spot the sarcasm, pantomimes are a Christmas tradition along with Christmas puddings and presents. You mustn't forget the presents. Xmas has a abbreviation of Christmas, which is tends to what Americans do anyway. Um, Notice that the first yellow shorted monkey that has two attack. Yep, and it gets worse from here on out. Don't you worry. Well done! And complete the level. And that's really all it is to this. So see you in the next episode of Ape Escape.